Look at the size of it, guys. Like, this is a really good size comparison compared to me. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. How are we all? I hope we're all very well. I am on the way to Ikea, guys. It's a beautiful sunny day. I was just about to open the roof. I'm not gonna. Go on then, babes, you can go. Out you come, come on then. I'm on the way to Ikea because I decided to do my wardrobe system. We went and picked it up. Bless my boyfriend. I don't even know how he's still speaking to me. Um, which, by the way, in my last vlog, you were all very excited that I added that tiny clip of him in. He's a very private person, guys. Doesn't He does have social media, but not like, not like I have social media. He chooses not to put his life online. Um, and yeah, he just doesn't really want to be on the internet as such. But I asked him if I could put it in and he said yeah. And he doesn't mind like being in the vlogs, he just doesn't really want to be at the same time. But anyway, thank you all for being so lovely. I was reading him some of the comments. He's now got a bigger head than ever as he thinks he's so handsome, which he is really handsome. So thank you for all of your lovely comments. Also, all of your lovely um, comments and messages about my new car and just being happy for me like do you know what it's so blooming nice i have the nicest audience i have the nicest subscribers and followers you're all like my mates and i appreciate you all so much anyway back to the point on the way to ikea i'm picking up um the drawers for the packed wardrobe so my boyfriend went and got his dad's van yesterday we picked it up from croydon ikea the big wardrobes Red but they didn't have they didn't have the drawers so i'm heading over to wembley ikea to go and get the drawers and then today at 1 30 it's currently 11 a.m at 1 30 i've got a guy from task rabbit which i spoke to you guys on instagram about like asked if any of you have used them before they're basically i believe like the sister company to ikea and they come around and they do like handy jobs for you and obviously one of the main things they do is put up ikea furniture which I find impossible to do. So he's gonna come around at 1.30 and put that up. Hopefully that will all go smoothly. Then we can fill the wardrobe up, but I just decided it was a great time to vlog. By the way, I've barely got any camera battery. I've never got any bloody camera battery. Let me tell you, this camera dies so quickly. So if I don't actually film in Ikea, it's because my camera's dead and then I'll see you when we're back at home. Ikea are so smart. They make you walk the entire store to get out. <laughs> So you kind of want to buy everything, not that I want to buy a baby's cot or anything like that. Do we think I've got enough coat hangers? This isn't Ikea, just such a genius idea, right? I found um, what I'm looking for. The lady gave me this sheet, which I ripped, looks like my dog ate it. Um, yes, it told me what aisle we're on, so we're on the right aisle, and this is what I need. Honestly, it's genius. I actually feel nervous about the fact that I need to push this all the way to my car. It's just terribly balanced. Every time I get back to my car and it's actually still here, I feel like it's a bonus because these cars get nicked so much. Anyway, look how clever this is. I push this button and the back seats go down. How smart is that? And perfect for when I've bought loads of stuff. It's all in with so much room to spare. Honestly, I could fit blooming half my flat in here. Press the button. And the boot closes like that. Stunning. Well, all I can say is a lot more fits in this car than my old car. I've got all of my stuff in the back. I've got plenty of room left. The IKEA trip was fine. It actually took me way longer than I like hoped it was going to, but I feel like that's the story of my life. I just seem to like wander around aimlessly for ages. Anyway, I'm on the way home. I think I'm just about gonna make it back in time. Actually, I, I'm, a, I'm meant to arrive at half one and that's when the Tars Rabbit guy turns up. Oh god, why did I decide to do this on such a busy week? I have no idea. One thing I actually have just realised I need in my car, well two things. I need some anti-back like hand wash sort of stuff because I've just had to touch the trolley and it's, it's given me the ick touching my steering wheel. And I also need some hand cream. So maybe we can get that tomorrow. I've just got home. The task rabbiter is here. <laughs> you might hear him banging around. He seems like he really knows what he's doing though. He's just got straight on with it. There is a little bit of a language barrier because he's French, we're having to use um, Google Translate, but he knows exactly what he's doing. Anyway, I just um, made myself a little cream cheese um, bagel with salmon, avocado, and tomatoes. Stunning. I'm gonna sit and eat that, and then I might start going through some of my clothes, or should I do that when they start going into the room? Well, this is the situation of my living room this morning. I've moved everything from my dressing room into here honestly if you could see how tall this like mound of clothes is there's so much there and then all of my handbags are here as well all of my shoes my blazers and everything else yeah 
it's all a slight bit of a mess. Good evening, everyone. I look immaculate, I know. Task Rabbit have gone, and the wardrobes are built. Do you want to see them? They're actually blooming great. So here are the wardrobes. It's night time, so they don't look great, but they are absolutely huge. <laughs> so I've got three of the big ones. These are both 100, well, they're all 100 centimetres. Then in here, I have this kind of like little shelving unit, which I did actually buy pull out trays for, but they don't fit. So that was great. And then over here, I have one that's slightly smaller with two hanging rails. I also have this drawer here, which is going to be a jewellery tray, which I pull out and have all my jewellery on it. And um, then there's a glass shelf so you can see through. The only thing is, this is meant to be slightly lower, so we need to lower that. And then I have four drawers and I also have this rail for my jeans. Now, the only thing I didn't think through is the fact that the rails are so blooming high. Like, literally, let me sort of show you i'm so far off of them like i can't even reach them i think what you're meant to do is put a shelf at the top of here like you're meant to have a shelf up the top because i don't want them to look cluttered i didn't want to have a shelf but now i'm thinking like i actually can't reach them without a shelf but i was just thinking i could get a little step and just like step up to put the like stuff on the rails anyway the guys from task rabbit were so nice there was a bit of a language barrier i think i told you that earlier but they were incredible and they did it all. No complaints, it was just, yeah, they were so simple. I'll use Task Rabbit over and over again because I am so rubbish at flat packs furniture. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna start filling it tonight but I'm gonna do it properly tomorrow. But um, I'm just gonna start like filling this room back up a little bit. Gold. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, I want to say this is the day after you last saw me, but I would be lying. It is a fair few days, possibly even a week, after you last saw me. I missed my last Sunday upload. The video you just saw was meant to be out last Sunday. But basically what happened was, I underestimated how long it was going to take me to do this room. And I just didn't have it done in time to show you on Sunday. So I kind of left it to get done. And here we are. The room looks fantastic. I'd just like to say I'm so happy with it. By the way, the sun is shining so bright today and it's such a beautiful day. I'm so happy. Yeah, the, the, like, the room looks so good. I'm going to give you a proper tour. I'm trying not to show you too much right now, but I'll give you a proper tour. I also today got a new mattress protector and I've also got new cushions for my living room, new cushions for my bedroom. So we're going to have like a flat revamp day. I'm also going to obviously show you in here. It's great. So you're going to really want to see it. Before we do that though, I really need to um, sort out my hair. This is day two Dyson hair. By the way, the Dyson at the moment for me, it just isn't lasting. Like in the summertime, I feel like my, like my, hair, my hair lasts all day long. But in the winter... I just think it's like the, um, not the humidity, because it's not humid, is it? It's the, like, the dampness in the air means that my hair just drops, which is so annoying. Because, yeah, in the summer it lasts, like, all day long. Now I'm just going to, like, blow dry the front of it forward. I'm going to go and wet it and blow dry it, because my hair always, like, sits naturally, like, really far back. So let's go and sort this out. I mean, after slagging off my hair and saying it's not lasting at the moment, this is not bad at all for day two hair, is it? I'm going to do a little bit of dry shampoo. My hair gets so greasy so quickly. This um, dry shampoo smells so nice. It's from Hairburst. Whoever invented the branding of this brand, like, I'm so sorry to offend anyone, but it's just so bad. But their product is actually really good. It smells like coconuts, this does. And it doesn't leave, like, that really powdery feel that a lot of dry shampoos do. Um, and, it, yeah, it smells incredible. And I often hate the smell of dry shampoo. But it smells great. Anyway, let me go and show you my, like, bedroom setup. Because, as I said, this is going to be a revamping day at home. It's going to be fantastic. So this is my beautiful bed. Some people might think it's too many cushions. But, uh, yeah, it probably is too many cushions. But whatever, I think it looks cute. So this is actually one of the favourite things that I own, guys. My bed gives me the best night's sleep every single night. So the mattress I have is one of the Emma Premium mattresses and it's absolutely fantastic. However, I'm going to upgrade it because over here we have some pillows from Emma. We also have a weighted blanket, which I thought would be so good for winter time. And I've heard really good things about them, like helping you relax. And I also got an Emma mattress topper. I feel like I need to give you guys some kind of like Emma mattress backstory on how I even discovered them. So basically I discovered them through my dad. So my mum and dad needed a new mattress. And my dad did a little bit of online research, found Emma, 
<laughs> Sounds like I'm actually talking about like a person, isn't it? But anyway, he found Emma mattress and ordered one. And my mum and dad both rave about that mattress so much. And then eventually I moved to London and I needed to buy a new bed for my apartment. And I wanted to leave my old bed at my parents so I had something to like sleep on when I went home. Anyway, of course my dad was like, get an Emma, it's so good, like, you know, best thing he ever bought. So I went ahead and I purchased a double size Emma original mattress. And all I can say is I was just annoyed at the fact that I had spent the last, I think I'd had my old mattress about seven years. So I'd spent the last seven years sleeping on what I didn't realize was the most uncomfortable mattress ever. And I didn't realize it until I slept on my Emma mattress and realized how blooming comfortable they are. Like no exaggeration. They are just incredible. You really sink into them, but at the same time, they're quite firm. And when you lay on them, they kind of like mold around your body. And when I go home to my parents, I still have my old mattress there and it's a spring mattress and I can literally feel the springs in my back and I can't believe I slept on that for as long as I did because this is incredible in comparison, like honestly. So I had my double Emma mattress in London for about six to eight months and then my bed frame broke. I don't know if any of you remember that. But instead of getting a new bed frame, I got a new bed frame but I changed to a king size which obviously meant that I needed a bigger mattress to fit the frame. I just realized that I could do with a bigger bed. The room could accommodate a bigger bed. So anyway, I got a king size bed. And this time I got another Emma mattress, of course, because I love my old one so much, but I got the premium one. And if I thought the original was great, the premium is just even better. And I can honestly say, I don't think I've ever had a bad night's sleep since I got it. Like, I can't even tell you, obviously I suffer with, it with anxiety, so every now and again I'll have a few like restless nights, let's say, but I never wake up with any like back pain or neck pain, I feel really well rested, and I just absolutely like recommend it to everyone. It was actually funny, the other day on my Instagram story, someone wrote to me and said, what was your like best purchase ever? And I think they were kind of implying like, you know, what was your best like designer purchase or like handbag or whatever. And I was like, honestly, it was my Emma mattress because it gives me the best night's sleep every night. And a good night's sleep is so valuable. You don't even understand. But I actually got told the other day, and I'm gonna read it to you, how long we spend in bed in our life. I'm gonna Google it. I can't remember how long it is, but it's actually shocking. So it says here, so I've just Googled how much like of our life do we spend in bed? And it says the average person spends about 26 years sleeping in their life, which equates to 9,490 days or 227, 706, no, I, I read that wrong. It's basically 227,000 hours which actually gives you like mild anxiety because that's such a long time. But the reason I tell you that is because we spend such a like large amount of our life in bed and a good night's sleep is so important. And I really feel like everyone, if you can, should invest in like a good night's sleep. And by doing that, it's getting a good mattress. It's getting good pillows. By the way, Emma do like really great pillows. I have them already, but I've got some different ones here as well, which I'm gonna put on the bed in a minute. But anyway, good bedding, a good quilt cover. It makes such a big difference. So as you've just heard, I absolutely blooming love my mattress. I rave about it to everyone. And I'm very excited to say that in this part of the video, I am working with Emma Mattress and they have given me a discount code that you guys can use. The discount code is Freya killing sleep so it's really easy to remember so it's literally just my name and then the word sleep at the end and that will save you guys some money off of your new mattress or some of the accessories on their website so as you guys know i got a premium mattress not so long ago i do not need a new one but i have got one of their mattress toppers to pop on top of it that's not because this mattress is uncomfortable it's because i've just heard the toppers are so incredibly comfy and I'm always up for making my bed comfier. Even though I've just started a new morning routine where I'm meant to get out of bed every morning at 7.30, I'm a little bit concerned I'm gonna make my bed that comfortable that I'm never gonna get out of it. But <laughs> I'm always up for investing in my sleep. So I've got a new mattress topper, I've got new pillows, I've got new bedding, so I'm gonna put you on a time lapse whilst I do this. I feel like it could be kind of hard work to do this on my own. Like, is it gonna be heavy? But I am an independent strong woman, so I'm able to do it, I will do it. By the way, this is the same with the mattresses, but you get this little kind of cutter thing, which is super handy, so you can cut the cellophane, because their products all come really like well packed and condensed down. So they're really hard to get into, but this really helps. Well, if 
I didn't already think my mattress was comfy enough. I feel like this is going to be insane. fitted I think I accidentally got a super king like cheap but anyway um the Emma pillows this one is a foam pillow this one is brand new just got this which I'm really excited to sleep on because it's basically like the mattress so it's a lot firmer and it's foam so your head's really going to kind of sink into it but it also gives you a lot of support this is one of their micro fiber pillows I've been using this for a fair amount of time I can't lie it's slightly stained which is slightly disgusting guys but basically it's fake tan any of my people out there that use fake tan, you understand how it gets over everything, which is not cute. But this is such a lovely pillow to sleep on. Your head really sinks into it and it's so like smushy and comfy. But what I thought was the contrast between the two would be like a really nice thing. So obviously this one is a lot firmer. And then with the fluffy one on top, I feel like it could be a really great combo. but crease release spray is the best thing ever. Ta-da! I can't lie, that was a little bit of a workout doing that on my own, but I completed it and the bed feels and looks incredible. Like always my goal, like in my home is to have a bed that's like a hotel bed. I feel like like really top class hotels have incredible bedding, have incredible mattresses and that's what you want to recreate at home and I really feel like I've done that. So my Emma mattress feels insane. Just a little reminder guys, they do have that discount code, Freya Killing Sleep, which will get you money off and will literally give you the best sleep of your life to be honest. I've also mixed up my pillows a little bit. So I got rid of like the kind of fussier ones at the front and I've gone for these more like minimalist um, linen ones. You have to let me know what you think. All of the bedding is from Dusk. I have been using Dusk bedding for so many years. They are incredible. Um, I will link obviously everything down below as well as my Emma discount code. And if you're thinking of buying yourself a Christmas gift, you don't know what to get yourself, get yourself a mattress because I swear you will thank yourself for it every single day. It sounds like such a boring present, but it will actually be one of the best gifts you ever gift yourself ever or even a loved one. I feel like it's a really random but great present. Anyway guys, I'm now going to have something to eat because I am starving. And then we're going to do a wardrobe tour because I know that's what you've all been waiting for as well. The wardrobe is looking fantastic. Well, this morning I can confirm that the mattress topper is a dream. I can also confirm that these Dior lip glosses, this is one of the lip oils in the shade, what shade is it in? Pink, 001 pink. They are so nice when you put them on. Super glossy, but they turn out really sticky. You know, like an oil would be kind of like silky. These aren't. They are very sticky, but they do look nice on. Anyway, guys, it is a whole new day. That's how I can tell you that the mattress topper was a dream. I slept like a baby last night, insane. But the fact it's a new day and I still haven't showed you the wardrobe, I think it's about time, don't you? So I'm excited to give you guys a little wardrobe tour, show you around, and I'm really happy with it. It's really dark today, so I feel like on camera it's not gonna look that cute, but we're gonna make the best of a bad weather job and I'm going to show you around anyway. First of all though, I'm going to show you like how I designed it on Ikea because I feel like a lot of people want to make these Ikea packs wardrobe systems. So I got it from Ikea, you design it all online, you can like buy ones that are already designed so if you don't want to like spend time deciding you know if you'd prefer hanging rail or drawers or whatever you can just buy them ready made but I always prefer to kind of like design things myself so I chose all of the bits and um, yes yeah, so we're going to sit down I'm going to show you that and then I'll show you around. Lol what is on the screen as I open my laptop. Look at these diamond earrings, guys. I really want a pair of um, two carat, like in each ear, diamond earrings. Like they just look insane. These are actually like lab grown ones, which is why the price isn't so bad. Look if I change it to um, like natural diamond, 35K, like absolutely not. Um, but I just really would love a pair. What do you guys think to lab created diamonds, by the way? Anyway, very off subject. So this is like design your own packed wardrobe. But because I've already done it, 
it will take me to the page and say resume previous design. So this was my design of my wardrobe. So basically I measured my room so obviously I measured like wall to wall, ceiling to ceiling and realised that this um, would fit and then I put all of the hanging rails in so I decided I wanted more hanging than I did drawers so I basically like designed it like this so that's how it looks and then I printed it out which looks like this so you get like the overall look this is the um, piece of paper that the task rabbit guys used so um, they knew what they were doing basically obviously it came with instructions but that was just like to give them a view that's how much it cost altogether and I personally don't really think the price is that bad like you get a lot of wardrobe for your money if that makes sense and the quality it's pretty good like I have one of these at my mum and dad's it's a lot smaller it's like oh well, it's actually it's well it's like half the size of this basically it's just in my bedroom so it's not like a full room and it's got mirrored doors on the front because you can add doors to them if you want to and it I've had it absolutely years like I paid for it such a long time ago but it's still good as new like it's never broken touch wood or anything like that and compared to like the cost of proper built-in wardrobes like I've looked those up before and they are thousands of pounds like I would say that the quality of those I'm sure is so much better and like the finish on them is great because the finish on these I mean I'll show you in a minute they're not like insane but what I'm saying is for your money I don't even I really don't think they're bad I think they're great to be honest so I don't know how I'm going to do this but I'm going to set you guys up and show you the full wardrobe but I just wanted to give you that bit of information because I feel like everyone always has questions about like that um, and it's so easy to do you literally just order it you can pay I think the delivery is 40 pounds it arrives at your house or you can go and pick it up and as you know um, bless my darling of a boyfriend he came with me to come pick it up in a van and we brought it back here and then like the task rabbit guys put it up you could definitely put it up yourself but i think it would be hard um but it could be done yourself as well so anyway let me show you around okay so before we get started let's just do a quick reminder of the before i have some footage from i think my last vlog so i'll quickly insert that just so it like refreshes your memory So as you can see it was very makeshift lots of rails i did really like my trainer storage and that was so handy but i wish i'd like done this wardrobe when i first moved in but whatever we're not going to live with regrets it is what it is but this is my new wardrobe area look at the height of it guys compared to me like seriously i can't even like reach up here which is why i have this little handy step which i also got from ikea so i pop it down here like this if i want to get like a jumper from up here, I literally go up on my step and I unhook it like this. Honestly, without the step, I wouldn't be able to reach any of my clothes. So let's do like a quick run through of what I did. It looks kind of like small on camera. So let's start over here and let's start with my blazers, which as you guys know, are basically my favourite things ever. I have so many blazers, although you might notice I have actually condensed them down quite a lot and got rid of some. I follow this girl on Instagram, her name is Carla, and she basically comes around your house and organizes your wardrobe, whatever, it, I think she does pantries or anything to be fair, I think she can organize your entire house. But the wardrobes on there are just unbelievable, that is goals. So I basically just copied her and did it myself, and also my really lovely assistant Isabella gave me a hand as well. So we actually spent the day doing it together, and I feel like we did okay. It's definitely not as good as Carla can do, but it's not too bad. One day she will do my own walk-in wardrobe in my future house, manifesting it, but whenever it is, that might be. So the blazer section, we've started off with very neutral tones at the top, basically just for aesthetic. And then we've got white blazers here and black ones as well. So yeah, this is actually all the blazers I own now. I did have so many more, but I had like so many of the same color. Like I literally had I think it was something ridiculous like 17 beige blazers so i've just condensed it down to the ones you are seeing here then if i pan you guys round over here is like a shelving unit basically on this shelf i bought pull out trays that's how i'd like designed it to have all my shoes on and then what you do is you come over you'd pull it out and then your shoes would like come out with it however when the task rabbit guys are putting it up they realize that the trays don't work there and you have to just have shelves so this is basically what we've ended up with in an ideal world i'd love it to have like a big giant diptyque candle on it wouldn't that be stunning and just like some really lovely kind of ornaments but i don't really want to spend loads of money on this wardrobe i can't really lie so i'm just working with what we've got so right now i have a chanel hat and scarf set i have my bottega boots 
my Louis Vuitton wash bag, I have my loafers and then I've taken a couple of coffee table books from my living room and that is on the top there. I think it looks quite cute. And something else I love about this section, I love how it kind of like comes in slightly and then it curves round. I feel like it makes it look kind of expensive. Maybe I'm just like imagining that but yeah. My boyfriend said it would look so much nicer if I put my handbags on there which I do agree. But all my handbags are over the other side of the room, which I'll show you in a minute. Now I've panned you around a little bit further. And this is my trainer section. And also like all of my boots and shoes. And then above here as well, I have all of my knitwear. Which actually there is a lot of knitwear. I feel like too much knitwear to be fair. But I tried to condense it down and it didn't really work. Something I don't love about this section is how colourful my shoes are. You know me, I love to just keep everything very beige, neutrals, blacks. But... Yeah, at the same time, do you know what, in real life, like, I always say I have, like, Instagram clothes and I have real life clothes. And even though I do wear my Instagram outfits in real life, because they're not, like, crazy or anything like that, in real life, I tend to just wear, well, you guys see me on vlog, I just wear, like, t-shirts, leggings, and my dunks and stuff like that. So, I can't get rid of these shoes, and I do really like them, so they are, like, nearer the front, and then, obviously, my Converse. Something, actually, I've realised with me is if I like something, I'm going to get it in every colour. There is a TikTok about that, like... If I like it, I'm going to get it in a different colour. Anyway, that was kind of cringe, but some of you might know what I'm on about. But I basically have, like, every colour of Dunks. Not every colour, because there's a lot of different Dunks. But I have so many Dunks, so many Jordans, Converse, like, Omer's Orans. As I say, when I like something, I'm going to go wild. The lighting, when we're flat on, is tragic. Let me just show you, like, the difference. This is good lighting. This is bad lighting. You know when you feel like you don't look like the people on Instagram? It's because I'm not saying I do look like people on Instagram. But what I'm saying is, is like good lighting makes such a difference in life. Good lighting, terrible lighting. And you know when you take a photo of yourself and you think to yourself, wow, that's such a bad photo. Nine times out of ten, it's just because the lighting is off. Just to let you know, because I'm now about to put you in this terrible lighting and I look like an entirely different person. So this is the middle of my wardrobe. Like, look at the size of it, guys. Like, this is a really good size comparison compared to me. So it's very, very high. This is obviously the bit you've just seen, which is all my knitwear. This centre bit is all hoodies. Basically, like, I don't really know what to put here. And I do wear hoodies, and I just thought it looked quite, like, cute and aesthetic. So this is all different hoodies. Something I need to get, I might actually go and get them today, is I need to get some black hoodies, because somehow I seem to have none. At one point, I had, like, 25 black hoodies, and now I have none, so that's not great. So this is all hoodies. And then over here are all of my coats. I say all of my coats lightly because, like my blazers, I have condensed it down a lot. I have got rid of a lot of stuff. This is not all my coats. I do have a rail in my um, like utility area. Well, like the cupboard. I don't know why I said utility is literally a cupboard. Um, but I have like some more in there. I have so many at my mum's house. But yeah, this is like the coats that I have and wear that are here, which is still kind of a lot. I am a little bit worried that that rail might break on me, but... So far, so good. So let's first of all work on this centre console. So this is the centre console, and this is the area where I chose to have four different drawers. All of the drawers are so neatly organised. I can't take credit for this. My assistant, Isabella, helped me very much. She said she watched, like, an organisation video, and she kind of folded everything. So we have, like, Adenola, Lululemon, Gymshark, sports bras. Like, everything is has its own section, which just makes my heart extremely happy. And then I think the next drawer is like tops and things like that. Now my favourite thing about the room is this. This is a pull-out jewellery tray. And it's not all of my jewellery. I keep a lot of my um, like expensive jewellery somewhere else. These are all of the pieces that I don't wear as often and the pieces that aren't um, quite as expensive. So over here we have all of my sunglasses. We have belts which is, I only have one belt, which is kind of sad. I do actually have another belt, but it's the wrong size, and I'm going to go and, like, get it changed. Anyway, then we have, like, rings, which basically, at this point, I am the Missouri shop. You guys know how much I love Missouri, and it's really clear that I love them because I have basically every single one of their rings they've ever done. We have necklaces, earrings, and then over this side is just lots of Monica Vinida and brooches. But I really love that. I've also got like a glass top here as well. So you can see through it and see everything that's in there. I think it makes the wardrobe look really expensive and I just love that part of my wardrobe. I also have one of these at my mum and dad's as well, by the way. I do wish this was slightly lower, like it needs to be here, but I kind of can't be bothered to change it. So I've now moved in a little bit further down. So as I've already said, here are all my coats, but... Underneath my coats is this pull-out rack where all my jeans are on them. I say all my jeans lightly, you just saw the overspill of my jeans in the drawer down there. I have way more jeans than this and I'm a bit worried if I load it up too much it might break. 
but these are all the jeans that kind of like I wear on a daily basis and once again I feel like it's very aesthetic I think it looks really cute I actually have some trousers on there as well that isn't just jeans but really handy what I love about this more than anything is before all of my clothes were kind of like shoved into boxes and I never really knew what I had but like this it makes getting ready just so much easier and so much nicer because I can see everything and yeah like it's actually a dream to be fair so that is the packed wardrobe system that i designed some of you might have noticed that there's all these little holes on here that is the case with nearly all of ikea furniture there's always these little holes but you can get these little covers also from ikea that you have to put them all in individually very time consuming slightly annoying but they make such a difference but we ran out of um the things i actually bought three packs and we ran out so i'm waiting on more i need to go and get some more and then we're going to cover up all the holes because it really does make a difference like you might be able to see i don't know if you can see from there but like that bit's covered and then this bit isn't and it just doesn't look cute when it's not covered once again we are now dealing with the terrible lighting but here are my pride and joys this is my handbag section and I am so proud of them. You guys know how much I love my handbags. I look after them so much. And some of you might remember that this shelving unit actually started exactly where it is now. Then it moved to the other side of the room because I said I like wanted it in the back of my videos and things. But something I was always concerned about, about it being over there, was the fact that the sun, whenever it comes out in the UK, which at the moment is very rare, but when it does come out, it shone quite a lot on my bags. And I was a little bit concerned about them being in sunlight, especially when some of them don't get used that often. So I wanted to move them back anyway, and that's another reason why I don't have them on that shelving unit over there. So here is my handbag section. So this isn't actually the Pax wardrobe system. This is the IKEA Kallax, I think it's called that. Might be saying it wrong. So on the top shelf, we have my YSL Cassandra, and then we have a Chanel Trendy. We've got more Chanel bags. On either side, I actually got these hooks from Amazon, which are holding two of my handbags, which I just think look really cool. On the side here, we have my perfumes, which I am... So proud of my perfume collection. I still feel like I need more to be fair. But I've got this really cool like acrylic kind of like um, what would you call it? like a display thing from Amazon. And you can put all your perfumes on like tiers. It was actually advertised as a cake stand for cupcakes. But I don't know. I think it kind of works for my perfumes. You might see as well I've actually got more um, acrylic stands. Which is why some of my Chanel bags are higher than the others. It's kind of like a good way to display your bags. Then as we pan down, I have some shoes, and to be honest, those bottom shelves are a little bit of a mess. And then right at the bottom, I have these baskets, which once again are from Ikea. They fit this system perfectly, and they are just basically full of junk. Like, they are not aesthetic. I'm not showing you in those because, yeah, they're just full of junk. So that is my new walk-in wardrobe tour. I'm so happy with it. And something that's really cute about this room is the fact I'm going to insert a photo. It's from my Instagram. I can't remember what year it's from, but... I got the IKEA packed wardrobe system for my like parents house I told you that already and basically I've always loved clothes and bags like this is not a new thing and I don't just like buy these things because of Instagram or social media like I did this way before like I've just always loved fashion since for as long as I can remember I would always spend all of my money on bags and clothes and shoes and jewelry it's just like my biggest passion in life and when I was working um, as a waitress I saved up all my money and I would always buy like clothes and bags and shoes but the truth is every day to work I wore like an all black outfit because I just had to wear all black to work and I had all these beautiful like bags and clothes and like had nowhere really to kind of like display them like I had a built in wardrobe at my parents but it wasn't great so basically I saved all of the money that I had um, been earning from waitressing and I paid for and bought the IKEA Pax wardrobe system. And this was when like Instagram was in its very early days. Like I wasn't like an influencer or a blogger. I didn't even know they existed. Like I didn't know anything about all of that. But I had like the wardrobe built and bless my dad and his friend, they built the wardrobe for me. And before I had the doors put on, I put this picture on Instagram, which I will show you. And I actually think I put like a few pictures on. I think one of them has my Mulberry um, Del Rey. Do any of you remember that bag? But I think it has like a picture of that and like just lots of its pieces. I think also I had like pictures of my jewellery tray. I don't know if I took them down now, but I'll try and find them and I'll post them. And I'm pretty sure the caption of that photo, I haven't looked at it recently, but I'm sure it says one day I will have a whole room like this. And I manifested it for myself, guys, because... Like, I don't know how many years later, because I don't know when that photo was, but I actually have a whole room like it. <laughs> and I just feel like my younger self would be screaming at this wardrobe. And I'm so happy with it. Like, you know, I've been discussing on vlogs so much with you guys, the fact that I'm kind of so ready to move and 
I really want to buy a house and it's just kind of like not working out for me and all the rest of it. But I think sometimes in life, like I'm really going in deep here, but I just feel like sometimes in life you just have to be thankful for where you are at that time. And what I'm saying is, is like my younger self would have just never even dreamt of this. And now I'm dreaming of like more, but I just need to be grateful right now for like this, because I should be proud of this and I am proud of this. So anyway, that was like a little bit of a backstory and I just thought it was like kind of like a nice thing to share. Um, but I hope so much you enjoyed this video. I am actually vlogging, it's currently the weekend, and I'm actually vlogging the rest of the weekend. I got a text from Hermes, guys. And I have a very exciting something to go and pick up. So I'm going to vlog that. I'm also going today to go and get like a facial. And I'm not going to talk to you anymore about it because I'll talk to you in the next vlog. But I love you guys so much. Thank you as always for all of your support. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you don't already subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all of those things. Love you all so much. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.